All right, there we have question number six of uh, the question paper of November 2010. That is uh, November 2010, construction and loci. So we want to see how actually can we attempt such a typical question uh, as we prepare. We, there we are given all the constructions must be done on a single diagram using ruler and compasses. They said that we know this part. All right, so we are given that a farmer is going to have a plot uh, in the shape of a quadrilateral, in this case, A, B, C, D. So this is the, the, the plot that is gonna have is a quadrilateral. And we have got uh, the dimensions of everything and we are only given one angle here of 60 degrees. Why do I consider the angle? Because I always say the angle must be on the base. So if it is a quadrilateral, this is a sketch that you're gonna have. So maybe just decide to say, this is your 60 degrees. You don't know how this quadrilateral is going to be like, but what you know is that there is an angle of 60 degrees, which is at the best. So if this angle is 60 degrees and it's found at B, so meaning to say this is your B, so instead you can have A, B, C, D, or you can have it as A, B, C, D. You must follow the order A, B, C, D, or you choose to say A, B, C, D, so that the angle is A, B, C. The angle is A, B, C. All right, so there we have got uh, the dimensions. Let's put in our dimensions, BC, 100 meters, but we can't have 100 meters on this paper on, or on our book, it's impossible. So we go back to the scale that we are given. We are given a construction that is supposed to happen here. It's supposed to be taken when one centimeter is representing uh, 10 meters. So we simply have to divide by 10 meters. You divide this, that will be 11 centimeters. So AB is 11 centimeters. BC, you divide by 10. So that will be 10 centimeters. CD, divide by 10. So this will be six centimeters. AD, divide by 10. That will be seven centimeters, which is AD. So this is your sketch. So I asked you to construct this quadrilateral ABCD from this uh, sketch that you have made uh, or that you have drawn. Uh, let us construct our quadrilateral and see. So uh, construction, as long as the sketch is there, everything is going to be well. Uh, make sure that the sketch is there. Don't just construct from nowhere. Uh, it's not supposed to be like that. Make a sketch and the sketch is not that accurate. It's something that is just showing you how your diagram is going to be uh, or is going to look like. All right, so start with the line. On this line, that's where we have BC, which is 10 centimeters. So you can even mark your line, uh, measure 10 centimeters, or you can start by marking the point that you are going to refer as your point B, where at point B, that's where we have uh, the 60 degree uh, angle. So meaning to say, if we are to refer this as our point B here, we're gonna have 60 degrees at B, there is 60 degrees there. So at point B, remember 60 degrees, just open a distance of your choice, the one that you're going to use to draw or to construct an arc. So you're gonna construct an arc here with the same distance without changing this distance where the arc and the line meet, construct back to the arc that you had in the first place like this. These two arcs, they meet at a certain point where the two arcs meet, you join. So that is your angle of 60 degrees. So that is how we can simply uh, obtain or have our 60 degree angle, all right? So here, I'm just gonna join uh, these two points from B to the point of intersection of these two. And this line is supposed to be 11 centimeters, but we do not know where exactly it's gonna be. So let us just construct, uh, let us just join, then we'll measure later. Because it's not supposed to be a, a drawing diagram, no, no, no. So this is where you've got your your point uh, D. All right, so let, um, uh, let us just indicate our point B properly here. So what we know so far is that we've got 60 degrees at B, which is fine. And we know that along this 60 degrees from B to C, it's 10 centimeters. So you measure 10 centimeters on your ruler, measure 10 centimeters, all right? So in this case, I can't be able to measure my 10 centimeters, all right? So let me just take it this way to say this is my 10 centimeters somewhere here, all right? According to this, uh, here I'm just gonna mark because uh, that one failed me. I thought it was going to help me, but it failed me. So, uh, sorry, this is 11, 10 centimeters, 
supposed to be here somewhere there. All right, so I'm just gonna take on my, but you're supposed to use your compass in this case. So definitely it's the same. I can't be able to measure 11 if I failed to measure 10 centimeters. So here I'm just gonna indicate on the ruler so that you see where it was going to be. So 11 centimeters was going to be somewhere here. That's where we've got 11 centimeters from what? From uh, the point B. So from B to A, this is 11 centimeters, all right? Then from B to C, so this is our A. B to C is 10 centimeters, all right? So we have got B to C, 10 centimeters. So this is our point C. And from uh, this one, we are going to measure seven centimeters from C to D and uh, C to D, six centimeters. So you don't know exactly where it's gonna be. So you just measure six centimeters. You measure seven centimeters from A, they will intersect, then you join your ax, all right? So in this case, it was gonna be like this. You measure from this point, uh, six centimeters on your ruler. So this is somewhere here, six centimeters. Uh, it's gonna be something like this, all right? So you just mark an arc. You don't know where exactly these two points are going to be. So just mark an arc of your choice like this, all right? You do the same. At point A, you measure seven centimeters from A. This is our seven centimeters from A. So we are going to place this arc at A like this. So this arc, the moment we join, it is going to we, we draw an arc. It is going to join with this one, all right? So that's seven centimeters somewhere like this, all right? So as you can see, these two, they do not meet. So meaning to say, I have to go back to C. Remember C, it was six centimeters. I have to go back to six centimeters and extend that six centimeters from what? From C, so that these two arcs will join. So definitely they are supposed to join at a certain point, all right? So I'm just gonna extend uh, this point here. It's only that it's not gonna be, okay, something like this, all right? So. Uh, just because of the shifting part, this and that, but uh, it is supposed to be something like this. All right, where these two arcs meet, that is where your point D is found. So now you simply have to join from B to D and from A to D. That's it. You have uh, constructed uh, the quadrilateral in this case, the one that we're given. All right, so it's going to be something like this from, uh, like I said, from D to C. Yes, just joining. All right. So you're going to join D to C. You do the same thing from A to D. All right. So let us join from A to D and see what's going to happen. As you can see, it is going to close up our quadrilateral. In this case, we now have a closed figure. It's not supposed to, to remain open. It must be a closed figure that you are going to have at the end. All right. So these two must join. All right, something like this. Just join uh, these two points like this. You've got your point uh, D in this case. Now we've got a complete quadrilateral, uh, the one that you're gonna use for anything that we need in this case. All right, so uh, let us just indicate six centimeters also, seven centimeters here. All right, we are done. Um, let's check our questions now. The first part of our question, is to, on B item one, to construct or to draw the locus of points 30 meters from A, B. A, B is a line. Whenever you're talking about uh, distances from a line, that one gives us a, a, a pair of parallel lines. This is your A, B. So you've got 30 meters on top, you've got 30 meters down. So at the end, you produce a pair of parallel lines. So here we are going to have a pair of uh, parallel lines. That's the locus of points equidistant uh, from what? From a line, 30 meters from a line. But remember, one centimeter is represented by 10 meters. So you divide by 10, meaning to say it's three centimeters from AB. Okay, let me show you, uh, uh, show you how you're going to do it. So from AB, this is what you're going to do. You measure three centimeters. You want to have three centimeters from AB, a, a parallel line in this case. So you are going to measure three centimeters. You mark an arc on this side of, uh, okay, at A, this is your A here. You are going to have an arc on this side. You just have an arc, all right? So you're gonna have an arc like this on this side. In actual sense, you're supposed to have a circle like this. This is what you're supposed to do. 
you're supposed to have a circle, all right? The same thing here at B, you are supposed to have a circle also at B. Let me just show you the original way that you're supposed to have it. You're supposed to have a circle like this at B. Then you join where these two circles meet the backs of these circles. Yes, you can see uh, here, these, these backs here can actually join like this, all right? But you need a ruler, so you're gonna place your ruler. Uh, these two, they must be able to join like this. All right, so let me just reduce so that I can be able to join uh, so that you can see also properly what I'm trying to do here. These bags here, like this somewhere, you can see that these two uh, here can form a line. You can if, you can properly see that, all right? If they don't, uh, don't force these two, make sure you join proper like this. You've got a line parallel to AB. You do the same thing on this side. As you can see at the end of these circles here, you can join. All right, at the end of the circles, somewhere there. All right, okay, we're gonna join here uh, a line, all right, like this. The line that we have just drawn in this case, this line that we have just drawn, it is uh, three centimeters, but we don't need to indicate that. It is three centimeters this side, three centimeters this side. So at the end, we are maintaining same distance throughout here. So that's why we are saying it's parallel. Also, we are maintaining same distance throughout on this side. That's why we are saying it's a parallel. It's a pair of parallel lines that we are having. All right, so this is how we're supposed to have this done. All right, as you can see. Let us check the other part of our question. Now they want us to construct uh, the locus of points equidistant from A and B. Remember what I said, two points, A and B, this one, indicates line bisector. We've been talking about this uh, now and again. So this one's a line bisector. You bisect the line AB. All right, so where do we have AB? This is our line AB. So you're supposed to bisect this line. Remember to bisect a line, you are supposed to open more than half of the line. At point A here, you open more than half of the line. This is approximately more than half of the line at, uh, at A, like this, all right? We mark an arc this side. We also mark an arc on the other side here, on the other side where we expect our line to be. We do the same uh, at what? At B, we are going to do the same at B. So we need uh, this one to be at B without changing the distance. Don't change the distance at B. You mark back inside your shape so that these two will meet. As you can see, they do meet. Where these two meet, we can be able to join. The line that we are formulating there, it has bisected the line AB, meaning to say it has divided our line AB into two equal parts. So that is what we have on this type of a uh, locus. So locus, just like theorems, a uh, circle geometry, you need to know the theorems. That is the idea there. So join. A, a, a line and this line let it be big enough all right so let it be big enough because you do not know what they are going to ask you later on they might ask you something that is along this line so make sure this line is big enough all right so that was our idea of this question locus of points equidistant from A and B, line bisector or the perpendicular bisector of the line. Uh, all right, now they are saying on item three, inside, take note, this one must be inside the quadrilateral, not just anyway, it must be inside the quadrilateral, which are 60 meters from B. Remember, locus of points from a fixed point is supposed to give us a circle. But now we are not going to have a complete circle because it's inside the quadrilateral. So it's going to be something like this, all right? So 60 meters also divide by 10 from your scale. It will be six centimeters. So you need six centimeters from B, where B is a fixed point. This is our B here. So we're going to draw, uh, measure six centimeters. Let's say this is our six centimeters here. Uh, we draw an arc. Uh, a circle, but it's not supposed to be a complete circle because they are saying inside the quadrilateral. Our quadrilateral is A, B, C, D. So it's supposed to start from the starting point of your quadrilateral like this, just the same way a circle was supposed to be like this. You end at this point. You were supposed to have a complete circle like this, but this time you are no longer having this complete circle because they said inside the quadrilateral. So the part of the circle is supposed to be limited inside 
of the quadrilateral. All right, so that was our question there. All right, let us check the other part. Now they are asking us in this case on uh, item C, the farmer wishes to dig a well, so he wants to put a well, but it must be uh, inside the plot. And our plot is this one, A, B, C, D, meaning to say inside the quadrilateral A, B, this is our plot. So this well is supposed to be inside of the quadrilateral. And such that it is at least 30 centimeters from A, B. Okay, let's start by the word at least. At, at least means more than or equal to, more than or equal to. So if we say at least 30 centimeters from A, B, we need distances, which is at least 30 centimeters, which is more than or equal to 30 meters, which is three centimeters from what? from A, B. And from A, B, remember, we talked about a distance here of 30 centimeter, uh, uh, of 30 meters from A, B, this one, which is three centers from A, B. Remember what we got from item one, we got a pair of parallel lines. So it means if it is inside the triangle and it is at least 30 meters from A, B, at least three centimeters from A, B, this line, we are talking about the distance this side more than or equal to more than this three centimeters that is here. This is three, meet, three centimeters here, 30 meters. So it must be more than that or equal to. So we expect our distance to be this side of the line, uh, the one that we are seeing uh, inside the quadrilateral, this one, this line, line here, this side, all right. But it does not end there. It also goes to say on that same side, it must be at least 60 meters from B. Take note, at least we said more than or equal to. So remember from B, 60 meters from B, it was a circle. So a distance that is at least 60 meters is supposed to be outside of the circle. That is more than or equal to. If they said less than or at most 60 meters, at most it means inside the circle. It's, it's less than but at least it's greater than or equal to. So we need greater than or equal to 60 meters from what? From B. And from B, if you check 60 meters from B, it was this circle, the one that we wanted to draw here. The, this is the, the, the 60 meters from B. So they are saying the distance is supposed to be more than, meaning to say we are talking about distance on this side of our, of our shape. That is where we are going to have our region. So take note, we are just left with this in part because we said in the first place, it must be more than uh, three centimeters from A, B, and we said it's this side. Now it's more than six centimeters from B, which is 60 meters from, from B, meaning to say we are left with these two regions, these ones. This is where we are left with our answer to be found here. But let's check the last statement between this answer. Our last statement now is saying, and, nearer A than to B. I said whenever you're comparing two points to say a distance is near this point or this point, you compare that from a line by sector. Is there a line by sector for A and B? Yes, it's there because we constructed here uh, the locus of points equidistant from A and B on our item two. That was a line by sector that we construct, meaning to say that line by sector can give us or can tell where are we having distances which are closer to A than to B. All right, so where is our line by sector? This is our line by sector, this one that we drawn here, the line by sector of uh, AB. So meaning to say the place that is nearer A is this side of line by sector. We are talking about distances on this side of the bisector. Not this side, these ones, they are closer to C, they are closer to B. They are on the side where B is. So the ones that are closer to A are these ones on this side. So if you are to check previously, I said, we are left with this region here. This is the one that we are left with. So now it means because of this line by sector, it has taken another part of the answer that we are supposed to have. So our answer now is going to remain here. Remember, it is supposed to be at least uh, three meters, uh, 30 meters from what? from uh, this A, B, and it is supposed to be at least 60 meters from B and closer to A than to B. So this is the region that we are going to remain with at the end, closer to B, meaning to say, 
the line by sector it our our our, our region is not supposed to cross the line by sector also our region is not supposed to cross this line because it's at least 30 meters from AB and also inside the quadrilateral because this is where our plot is, it's inside the quadrilateral. So that is the region that we're supposed to shed or to indicate. So there they're asking us to shed the region in which the well must lie. So that is where we were going to have our well in this case, we're going to find it inside the quadrilateral at this position. All right, so that is uh, how we're supposed to have this question. Uh, all we needed is understand the concept of our locus uh, pi.